Hmm, I wonder what I should do this time. Hang on a minute. That's a good idea. <laughs> well, might not have a figure out of them, but you know what? Let's check it out. Hey, 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 Great Figure Man here, back with another behind the scenes with a scene video. Uh, this time we've got Goku here, the Sand Raised on Earth version. Um, actually, I'm not doing a scene from the manga this time, I'm going to do one from the anime. Actually, the in between episode, intro, outro, mini message, ad break part. Um, something that's always thought it looked really cool, and it kind of fits in with my uh, style of having the nice white background. Because um, it was just Goku, white background, and. Da, 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 da. Gohan. Um, this is actually the Adverge series of uh, figures. They're little bit candy toys. I picked this guy up to go with Reddits actually. I was a bit disappointed uh, the Reddits that we're getting isn't coming from one, so I hunted around for a Gohan that would um, fit the scale. And this is basically the best one you can find that has nice detail. So it's Gohan in his little wee baby outfit when he gets kidnapped. And it just so happens to be the Gohan that is used in that mini intro outro part between an episode. So I'm going to pair him up with his father and um, recreate those mini uh, scenes. And in case you're wondering about his size, I do have a banana for scale. So yeah, he's decently big. Anyway, let's crack this bad boy open, um, set up a pose and yeah, take a couple of photos. Okay, so I've got Goku and Gohan basically set up here in the pose. I've got a sheet of uh, acrylic down here, and this will give me a nice reflection for Goku. Um, in the original images, there's a shadow underneath, so instead of a shadow, I'm um, going to go with a reflection, which basically the same. Um, I'm just going to adjust his posing now, get him into the right position. In the original one, he's actually a bit more um, twisted like this. Let's take Gohan off for a moment. Just going to face that way and kind of looking in towards the camera. Um, there's actually two different poses for um, the intro outro scene. Um, this is one of them. The other one is um, Goku sitting down with his legs crossing Gohan, Gohan poking out through his arm. Uh, so we'll take this photo and then we'll move on to that one and recreate both of them. So I'm just using a 50mm lens for this one here. Um, at a 5.6 aperture. I've got three studio lights, there's one above and uh, two coming in from the front on an angle. And it's giving ample light and a uh, smooth enough white background. Okay, so the first photo is done. Um, I just double checked the reference and his arms actually twisted a bit more outwards, so try that. In the original one, Gohan's also waving as well, but unfortunately, since we can't adjust him, um, we just have to go with what we have. Um, but yeah, Goku's looking pretty good right here. Um, yeah, I think in the... Compared to the picture, I think having his arm a bit more straighter uh, looks a bit better. But we'll compare the images and check it out when we edit. Alright, so since this one's done, I'm going to um, reposition him and set up for the second pose. I'm not really sure how possible this next pose is going to be until we try it um, but we'll just give it a bit shot uh, we don't need the open hand for this one um, put his fist back on and basically we need to try and make a cross-legged pose Okay, so we've got Goku and Gohan in position here. Uh, it took a little bit of um, adjusting Goku to give him the right position. And same with Gohan. He's actually a bit too big to go between his Goku's leg and arm. And if you put him on the inside, uh, he appears a bit too small. So instead, compromise and put Gohan in front. Slightly different to original, but pretty close. Still got Goku's arm going over top of Gohan's hat. 
and go home and go through looking down on go home um so yeah overall it's looking really good giving a nice reflection shadow in the acrylic below uh so the next step is going to be take this photo and the previous one into uh capture one with photoshop and overlay a couple of the text to get the final image so yeah let's jump on the computer Okay, so we've got the two photos in Capture One Pro. We've got Goku holding Gohan, and we've also got Goku sitting down with Gohan underneath his arm. Going to make a couple of small adjustments while in this program, then we'll open them up in Photoshop, uh, where we will adjust the crop, uh, fix up the background, might uh, crop them out, uh, mask them out, sorry, and replace the background. Because the original ones, they had a color background. I believe it was blue for the Dream Z ones. Um, so I might do one with white and one with blue and I also went to Google and search for Dragon Ball logo PNG and we'll be able to get that and drop that in on the like, top left of the images where it was in the original eye capture clip. Okay, so jumping into the adjustments here, I'm looking on the computer, the photos are a little bit warm so it's going to drop the white balance down a little bit, it doesn't be, need to be too much. Yeah, about 5 through 20 is fine. Situation looks pretty good. So Christmas shows a little bit. It's not, it's quite hard to notice, but it just brightened up with a little bit of areas underneath. And um, Goku's here. So increase the clarity a little bit. It should sharp up some of the lines around the um line work on the figure. Let's do auto level. Ooh, too much. So Chris reflects a little bit. Brighten up a bit. There we go, that's pretty good. Now since both images are basically the same, I'm just going to copy the adjustments and apply it onto this one. And yeah, that looks pretty good. Probably don't need to be saturation, so I'll drop that back down to zero. Okay, these are looking really good. Okay, so we'll start off with the uh, Goku holding Gohan and I'll open this in Photoshop and then we'll continue from there. Okay, so we've got the first image of Goku holding Gohan open here in Photoshop and I've also got two more files which I'll go over. Um, we've got the PNG logo and then we've got a reference screen cap. Uh, for the editing process, it's going to speed it up um, but essentially what I'm going to be doing is going to make a mask for him that way I can replace the background with white and also a teal and we'll probably finish the image up with a 4x3 crop to match the original formatting uh, since this is from way back in the day. Um, I'll probably also do a 16x9 crop as well just, just go for a bit more bit more of a modern look and yeah I hope you enjoyed the video please hit that like subscribe button let me know in the comments what you think if you have any questions about the process yeah please just ask away and keep an eye out for a Dragon Ball version of this coming in a week or two. Anyway, I hope you enjoy the editing and until next time, cheers!